What it is, dip. It's your boy Crook LDB Team 100. We it hip show. Today we got another video, man. But this is going to be a very special video. I ain't even going to do my intro. I'm gonna just get right. I'm gonna just get straight to the point. To be honest with y'all. So John ja Morant, right? <clears throat> I don't know if many of you guys have heard in the news, but John ja Morant will be stepping away from the team for at least two games. Uh, for those of you that, that don't know, John Morant has been in the news for a lot of negative stuff. Um, most noticeably, um, he was shown uh, wielding a gun on IG Live, which to the life of me, I still don't understand how some of these young kids could think that that's cool. But he was caught brandishing a gun. Um, there was a news report, which I don't know if it's true or not, but allegedly he beat up a 17-year-old Um and, you know, there's been a lot of back and forth talk between Memphis as far as the Grizzlies and them being the most hated team in the NBA. Um, real quick, I want to address everything and just offer my two cents. I don't care about getting a dollar back. But the first thing, right? Uh, the first thing is Memphis as a team, right? Memphis is a very, very, very talented team. You obviously have your star in John Morant. You have a solid number two in Desmond Bain. You have a rim protector in Jaron Jackson Jr. You have some good role players like Brandon Clark. You have Dylan Brooks. You have Steven Adams. Steven Adams has been around. Memphis has literally everything that you will want in a team. The only thing that they are lacking is experience. That's the only thing that they're lacking at this point is experience. And... Memphis talks a lot. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of I'm I'm from not mistaken, Jai's like 23. Dylan Brooks is like in his early 20s as well. Jaron Jackson Jr. is in his early 20s as well. Um, I think there's only maybe like three or four players on that team that's like over 30, maybe. I know Stephen Adams over 30, but if I'm not mistaken, it's a few. It's like maybe two people, three people in there. So a lot of your stars are significantly young. So with that, it's going to come doing dumb stuff. Um, well, not necessarily doing dumb stuff, but making poor decisions. Um, and maturity comes into play. There's a lot of things that come into play when you're dealing with someone that's younger than you. Um, y'all got to win something, man. Y'all got to win something before y'all talk. And I get it. The one thing that I like about y'all is that y'all bring the competitive nature out of us. Y'all make us want to watch you versus Golden State. Y'all make you, I'm sorry, y'all make us want to watch you compete with the best of the best. You guys are the number two seed yet again. But it's a tough road ahead of you in the Western Conference. Kevin Durant just went to the Suns. Kyrie Irving just went to Dallas. It's a lot of firepower in the West. Why don't we just hold off on the talking just for a little bit? Now, when y'all make it to the conference finals or finals, hell, you can talk. But just do a little something first before you, know what I mean? Before you start trickling down that 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 slippery slope. I'm just saying. Um, second thing. Um, and this is mainly, the rest of this is honestly going to be with Ja. Bro, you got to be careful, bro. You got to be careful. You got to be careful with brandishing weapons on social media. Listen, y'all. Social media is tapped. It's recorded. Once it's on the internet, it will stay in the internet forever. You cannot delete that. What you put out into the universe is going to stay in the universe and it's going to come back to you. Sometimes it might come back to you 10 times harder than that. You got to be careful on what you post on social media, bro. One, you also have to understand... That this max contract you got, they can take that away from you, bro. You're one of the brightest superstars that we have in the league, bro. Everybody want to see you. I see you gritty in with kids. I see you smiling. You brought your son with you to unveil your first sneaker. Like, like come on, bro. You're blessed, bro. You're blessed to be in a position where you can impact so many others and make people's lives better just by just being you. 
by playing basketball, doing what you've been doing at a young age, and being good at it. You have to be careful about the decisions that you make going forward, bro. I'm pretty sure these owners would love nothing more than to make an example out of us. That's why you have to applaud people like LeBron James. Because they went their whole career without being in any sort of drama, negativity, anything like that. You got to applaud people like that, bro. And I'm not saying that Ja's going to fall into that, but bro, just please watch out. I don't know if it's the people around you. I see Pops comes to the game. So uh, whatever the case may be, a little father-son thing going on. I think him and Carl Anthony Towns' dad be having a little John back and forth. Bro, that's dope, bro. But just be careful, man. I know what it is living in the hood, feeling like you got to be in survival mode all the time. Bro, you don't got to do that no more, bro. In my opinion, you set. You got a shoe deal. You got a max contract. And if you keep playing at this level, they're going to offer you another max contract. You're going to have money coming in. There's no doubt. All you got to do is be the leader that you are. Surround yourself with people that's not going to and like like that's not going to be a part of your downfall. You, you probably need something maybe somebody in your circle that tells you no, don't do it this way. Go this way. That's all. But I really want you to be careful and can we please stop pulling guns out on social media, please, y'all. Please, if y'all don't learn nothing else from me from watching this video, please. Social media is not meant for everything. There are some things that you need to keep off of the internet. Trust me, it'll save you time. It'll save you heartache. And it'll save you a headache. I promise you. John Morant, please be careful, bro. Be careful out here. Be cognizant of the decisions you make. The stuff you doing. Because you have a bright future ahead of you, bro. And I don't want to see nothing. I don't want to see nothing happen to my brothers, bro. But just be careful, bro. That's it.